Welcome to Prism Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 49 of ASP.NET Grid View tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss about how to include sort arrows when sorting an ASP.NET Grid View control. Please watch part 48 of the ASP.NET Grid View tutorial before proceeding with this video. Now, when the data in the grid view control is sorted in ascending order, then I want to display an up arrow next to the column by which the data is sorted in ascending order. On the other hand, if the data is sorted in descending order, then we want to display a down arrow. In the first image here, the up arrow next to the name column indicates that the data in this grid view control is sorted by name column in ascending order. The down arrow next to the name column in this grid view control indicates that the data is sorted by name in descending order. Let's see how to achieve this. Obviously, the first thing to do is to include both of these images into our ASP.NET Web Application project. I have these images within this folder, so let me copy them. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Let's create a folder with name images. And let's paste the images into this folder. All right, so at this point, we have the required images. Now, what event are we going to make use of to achieve this? I'm going to make use of a row created event. So when is this row created event fired? The row created event is fired whenever a row within the grid view control is created. The header is also a row within the grid view control. So when the header row is created, you know, we have this event fired. So we're going to make use of this row created event. So first, let's go ahead and generate the event handler method for this row created event. And to do that, let's flip to Visual Studio. Let's get to the properties of the grid view control by pressing F4. Click on the events icon and then double click on this row created event to generate the row created event handler method. All right. Now, the next question is, how are we going to determine by which column the data is sorted in this grid view control? We're going to make use of two custom attributes. You know, if you remember, in part 48 of the ASP.NET grid view tutorial, we discussed about adding two custom attributes, that is custom sort field, uh, I mean current sort field and current sort direction. Please watch part 48 if you haven't done so already. Okay, so we're going to make use of those two attributes. So if I flip this web form to the source mode, notice that the current sort field is going to specify by which column the data is sorted at the moment. And then the current sort direction is going to specify whether the data is sorted in ascending or descending order. So I'm going to make use of both of these custom attributes. All right, and just to speed things up, I have this code already implemented. So let me copy that. Let's flip the to the code behind file and let's paste that code here. So what are we doing here? If you look at the first line, the first line checks if we have both of these attributes, current sort field and current sort direction. If both of them are not null, then we are going to do some processing. If any of them is missing, then you know we will not be able to display images. You know, at least it will not work for us. So we are checking if both of those attributes are not null. If that's the case, then we are checking the row type. Is the row type header? Remember, the row created event is also fired for data rows. We don't want to do any processing if, if it is fired for the data rows. So that's why I am checking if the row type is header. And if the row type is header, notice that what is a header row? Or for that matter, what is a row? A row is nothing but a collection of table cells. OK, so what we are doing here, we are looping through each table cell within that row. So for each table cell in e dot row dot cells, what are we doing? We are checking whether if there are any controls within that table cell. So if you look at the header row, it's a collection of table cell and each table cell has got controls in them. And meaning, look at this employee ID, name, gender and city. What are they? Are they hyperlinks or link buttons? They're actually link buttons. So each table cell has got controls in them. OK, so I'm calling this method to check if the table cell has got controls. This method is going to return true if there are controls in that table cell. OK, if there are controls, there could be one or more controls. And then I'm actually trying to retrieve. Look at that. The first thing here we are doing is we are creating a variable of type link button and then initializing that to null. And then notice this. We are checking, you know, the first control in the table cell you know, I'm using the controls collection property and then passing in zero controls of zero. You know, look at what is it being, 
what is it returning? It is returning a control back, but we are checking is that a link button? Okay, is the first control within the table cell is it a link button? If that's the case, we are type casting that to be of type link button and assigning that link button's reference to our variable of type link button that we have created. Okay, and then we are checking here if that sort link button is not null and then if and if the current sort field attribute matches with the command argument of the sort link button. So if you look at this link button here, when I click on that link button, you know, a command, a sort command is basically raised. And then uh, the command argument property of that link button contains the name of the column by which we want to have the data sorted. So we are using that command argument property and then matching that with the current sort field attribute. If, if both of them match, then we know for sure the data is sorted by that column. So at this point, we know by which column the data is sorted. But the next question is, do we want to display an up arrow or down arrow? How do we determine that for that purpose? We are going to make use of current sort direction attribute. Okay, so if we flip back to the code, so we determine by which column the data is sorted and then we are creating an image here dynamically and then look at that we are checking if the current sort direction is equal to ascending meaning we know that for sure the data is sorted in ascending order and by this column okay in which case we are setting the image URL property of the image to up arrow else we are setting it to the down arrow and then look at this there is, a, there is one non-breaking space between the header text and the image. So how did we get that space there? Because we added that space using this literal control here. Okay, so to the literal control constructor, we are passing ampersand NBSP semicolon. You know, this is the HTML for a non-breaking space. And we are adding that literal control to the controls property of this table cell. And finally, we are adding the image. That's it. So let me run this now and it should work as expected. So when the grid v control first renders, the data will be sorted by employee ID. So there should be an up arrow next to the employee ID column. I click on that once again. Notice that we have a down arrow. I click on name column. The data is sorted in ascending order, up arrow. I click on that once again. Data sorted in descending order and I have a down arrow. All right. On this slide, you can find resources for ASB.NET, C-Sharp, and SQL Server interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.